I start 1986 until now, but I look, I'm not much spend time with my kids. Children, husband not happy, the family not happy. The, because they are work, they are alone, you know, inside like me, they work hard, you know, until twelve o'clock. I start nine o'clock until twelve o'clock midnight. After I go inside, they are sleep on machine. Every day on machine, every day machine. Ma Sometimes my son, my son say, "Oh, forget mom. Mom like machine more than more than there." <laughs> Sometimes my husband upset with me, say, "You die on machine. How you <laughs> you happy that job? You die on machine. Why you not stop it?" I say, "I can. When I'm late, you know that he's not pay for me." very significant historic victory for all home-based workers all over the world was achieved in 1996 at the ILO recognizing home-based workers as workers. I think one of the reasons that the government didn't sign the, uh, the ILO treaty is the government is ideologically hell-bent on uh, not complying with ILO conventions. You know, the ILO is not a biased or prejudiced uh, outfit. You have unions and employers and governments who operate in a tripartite uh, fashion. So they're very well considered uh, conventions. Yes, I, I believe as a civilised nation, as a leading civilised nation, we should. The issue, of course, of, of slavery, some of the cases that we heard in terms of the, of the inquiry into outworkers came pretty close to that. So it's not simply an overseas problem, it's also a problem that is happening here in our own country. The government is currently going through its consultation processes with the states and territories, as we now require before Australia agrees to international treaties and agreements. Uh, that process is underway, and once that's, uh, that's finalised, then further consideration will be given to Australia uh, agreeing to that particular treaty. If you like, it's a cultural problem that's been imported to Australia. Um, rather than something that is inherently Australian, this problem of outworking and, it, and in particular the exploitation of outworkers. Outworkers cannot get sick. If you're sick, your payment will stop. You never get pay. And sometimes you're scared to tell the uh, boss that you are sick because you're scared they won't give you a job again. Well, I get pay at my, my arm. So arm and sometimes I show my back. Our worker, they are get sick because they get paid in peace, so they have to work too fast uh, because of the price too low. I suffer two heart failures. I think in our work, uh, not a lot of these guys get sick. When I get being get sick, and you know. No one, you know, can help me either. I think our working has take, taken a real toll on my mother's health. I remember when we started working, there were times when we have to stay up all night, and my mother was able to do that. But after a few years, now she can't. shopping tour before.
What um, Australian workers are facing is competition from increasingly cheap labour. We can see that the wages and conditions that third world workers are facing today, whether that's in, in various parts of Central America, around Asia, people are being asked to compete with completely atrocious uh, working conditions. The uh, bargains are great and um, you do get your quality as well. Well, competition is, is an illusion and, and also the whole notion of globalisation is also an illusion. Go shop around, you're going to have a great time, are you ready to shop? Well, international manufacturers are, are pushing down the cost of labour by putting um, increasing pressure on countries to compete and to, to provide uh, cheaper and cheaper wages. And what that means is that the lives of workers are being sacrificed. That's a new shop front, which is a factory outlet, so it'd be interesting to see if we're going to get um, a real bargain there or not. Workers in Australia, out workers or workers um, working in the in the garment industry, certainly have um, many things in common with their um, fellow workers in in third world countries. It's also in the interests of Australian workers to fight for um, an improvement in the conditions and wages of workers overseas because um, it is very much a threat that is being used against Australian workers um, that that people will lose their jobs in Australia if we weren't willing to accept third world conditions.